Hi everybody, Steve from Steve's Maker Space, and today we are in GameCraft, and we have a major update. It's Destruction Physics. You can collect a gun and some ammo and start shooting stuff. There you go. Boom. We're gonna take a look at a couple of examples of games that players have already created and then we'll come back here and do some experimenting. I'll tell you about the new blocks and how to use them. Let's try Duck Shot by Josh Jammer. This is one of the devs. It's very colorful. Let's go. Doom, shoot, shoot, shoot everything. Shoot everything. Oh, I'm not doing terrible. I think one of the ducks got caught. Come here. No ammo. Oh, I didn't know I was going to run out of ammo. Shoot! Did you get all 270 points? No, I did not. Let's try again. I'll have to be more careful this time. Alright. Doom. 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 Come here. I'm, I'm not very good at this. Is that it? 65 points. That's terrible. Now we'll play Defense by Bolt Super Goo. Oh. That's cool. Whoa, whoa. And am I supposed to get this guy? Whoop. Oh man. Got him. Oh, human saved. Okay, let me start it over, because I was supposed to save the humans. Whoop, almost, almost killed the human. Oh my god. Oh no! I killed the human anyway. Hey, I rescued one. Didn't I? Doesn't say I rescued one. This one's got more health. Did I rescue you? Oh, there's more. Uh-oh. Bad guy. Oh no, 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 I'm stuck. Whoopsie. Yikes, this one is gonna kill me. This is a pretty cool game, though. It's kind of a space invaders sort of thing, I guess. This thing doesn't seem to want to die. Oh, my health is at 31. I don't think that's good. Oh, I finally get it. Oops. Sorry. Ah! No! Let's just get away from that. Whoops, sorry. No! I'm... Come on! I don't know how far I was from uh, the end. Phew! That's a good game though. I had a like on that. So that was Defense by Bolt Super Goo. Good job, man. All right, let's take a look at the new blocks. These are, there's only five of them, and they're in the diamond section. The destruction manager is one block that you place in your world to control the destruction of the entire world. The cluster health modifier, uh, this you could put on a vehicle, for instance, and that would control the destruction of the entire vehicle. And then the chunk health modifier, and this you could put on part of a vehicle, for instance, like I have here, and that would control uh, the destruction of this part versus the rest of the vehicle. So anywhere that there's a joint, which is something like an engine, a motor, or a hinge, is uh, separating a chunk. So this is a chunk, and then this is a chunk, and this is a chunk, and then this is a chunk, 
and then this is a chunk and this is a chunk. Finally we got the quantum rifle uh, to pick up and the ammo pickup. So if you want to place one of these rifles in your world, it's very simple. You just do like this, left click, and it's there. And then you hit T and it spins around in a circle until you pick it up. Uh, the ammo, there's 30 pieces of ammo in one of these. I placed this up here by first placing uh, something like this. And then I placed it, uh, the ammo after that, and then got rid of this to make this up high. Now it's always going to spin, but if you place it on a vehicle like this and then start the vehicle, it will move with the vehicle. So even though it's spinning, it's um, stuck to the vehicle until you pick it up. The ammo you see has a spawn and despawn. So you could set this to a timer uh, and then have it spawn in later or after some event happens. And the same thing with despawn. If you want it to despawn after a certain uh, length of time, set it up to a timer, or uh, if some event happens, then that'll trigger it to despawn. And then collected is, if I've collected this, uh, that sends a signal to something else. So for instance here, I have these two ammos. Uh, if this one gets collected, it's going to despawn this one. And if this one gets collected, it's going to despawn this one. So my player can only collect one of these and then the other one uh, despawns. See? And this one I've got set to a timer. Uh, right now I only have it at 0.1 seconds, but if I set this to say 2 seconds and then hit T, it's not there, it's not there, and now it's here. The larger the object, the more uh, destructible it is. So if I hit this, uh, it sh gets destroyed right away. If I hit this, I have to hit it a couple of times before it gets destroyed. And this one, I have to hit several times before it gets destroyed. Now this is connected to the grass, and so this doesn't take any damage at all. But if I put one of these on here, now I can cause damage to it because this overrides uh, the fact that it's connected to the grass. This health modifier has uh, a health multiplier and a collision multiplier. If I have this increased from one, uh, one is the default. If I have it higher, that means it has more health to it and so it's going to be harder to destroy. And then the collision multiplier has to course do with collisions which is if it's low that makes it harder for it to be destroyed by collision and if it's high it gets destroyed by collision more easily it's a little confusing that they're kind of going opposite directions for destruction but that's the way it works so this one has a multiplier of five whereas this one doesn't have any multiplier so and they're the same size so if I shoot at each of them, you'll see, whoops, that's two shotted. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine shots to destroy that one because I had a multiplier of five. It was five times as hard to destroy. Now also this has a couple of outputs. Normalized health is basically a readout of the health that is left and then destroyed is whether it has been destroyed or not, it sends one signal uh, when it gets destroyed. I have the normalized health going to a text block, which is then going to a uh, game stats HUD, and I have the destroyed going to a counter, which is then going to a game stats HUD. Uh, so let's see what happens. You'll look at the top of the screen this time. And as I shoot, you'll see my health going down from 1 to 0.88. And it keeps going down. And look at the destroyed. It's, it's 0 right now. And when I destroy it, that'll go to 1. There we go. This has two chunk health modifiers attached to it on this chunk and on this chunk. This one is basically it's, it's at default. So it's not really affecting it at all. 
This one I've got set to two. So this one is two times as healthy, which means it's gonna be harder to destroy this, uh, twice as hard as this one. And this one, one, two, and this one should be just one. So if I change this to five, now one, two, three, four, and one. Now also the plasma cannon also gives destruction. Before it would just make some particles. Now it actually uh, causes destruction. So let's hit the button there. There we go. And of course it uh, damages players as well. You can see my health at the bottom going down as I do that. So you could attach the plasma cannon to a vehicle if you want to have two vehicles shooting it out. Um, if I get into a vehicle with my gun, the gun goes away until I get out of my vehicle and then I have my gun again. Now let's talk about collisions. So over here I've got a couple of items that are just falling onto these blocks. So if I hit T, bam. So that got, one of those blocks got destroyed. This block is almost destroyed and it pulses when it's almost destroyed. So this one, if I have it at a 0.1 collision multiplier, that's going to make it less likely to be uh, destroyed when it gets uh, collided with. And if I increase the collision multiplier, then it's going to be more likely to be destroyed when it gets hit. On the vehicle, I have a chunk health modifier, and I've got this right now set to five, which is gonna make it more likely to be destroyed. And go forward, let me hit a little harder. Come on, there we go, and it breaks. Whereas, if I change this to uh, very low, and I can hit pretty hard and hit several times and it's not going to be destroyed very easily. Now I've got these walls here and at first I didn't have uh, as thick a walls and let me show you what happens when I run into them I thought they would be destroyed but they don't. I'm not quite sure why but if I make them a little chunkier then they are more likely to be destroyed for some reason. I'm not quite sure I don't know why, but this is quite satisfying, and I died. <laughs> oh, and something else about the plasma gun I forgot to mention before. Um, it is, let's see, I had it set to 10, and when I have it set to 10, you can see it, it has a little bit of knockback, but uh, not too much. But if I set it, the velocity, very high, uh, it doesn't destroy more, but it has a lot more knockback. Look at that. So that's fun. I also need to talk about this global destruction manager. It's got the health multiplier and a collision multiplier as well, which is going to affect the entire world. Uh, it also has this cluster self damage, which is, let's say you have a vehicle with a piston arm that is for punching other vehicles. If you were to punch yourself, would you deal damage to yourself? This tells the game whether you want to deal damage to yourself or not. If this is off, then you're not dealing damage to yourself. If it's on, then you do deal damage to yourself. Uh, the other bit is global destruction movables versus nothing. If you don't want any destruction in your game, then you set this to nothing. If you do want destruction in your game, then it's movables. I think that's everything I wanted to go over. So there are a lot of possibilities with destruction. I'm really looking forward to seeing what you guys are going to create in GameCraft. So if you like this video, give it a like. Consider subscribing to my channel. Uh, ring the bell for notifications. 
and comments are always welcome. I'd like to hear what you're doing in GameCraft and if you want me to feature a game of yours or a, a prefab in GameCraft uh, in one of my videos, please let me know in the comments or on my Discord. Link to the Discord uh, is below, of course. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye now. Steve's Makerspace.